it's great to come back to remember the teachings of, of the Course and, and also the teachings of Jesus in the Bible. Blessed are the, the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And then the teachings of Jesus clarifying that in the Course. In my defenselessness my safety lies. Defenseless. That's not trying to confront it's not trying to convert some convert somebody. Not trying to change somebody. And not trying to change somebody else's mind either. As if there's private minds and somebody else has to see the light. You know, all that is part of a defense of private minds and private thoughts and so yeah much of what we would call e evangelical work or evangelism you know of trying to convert the heathen or spread the truth you know there's we it's, the teachings it's okay to spread the teachings but the way that you really spread the teachings is by through demonstration and you can't really teach something unless you can demonstrate it. So that's why it's all about the miracle. It's all about the transformation of consciousness and not about people. And that's where, in the end, religions fall short when they still are about people and who should believe what and which is the correct way to believe and all that. It's still part of, it's still on the realm of theologies. The theologies are more like trampolines, you know, you, you, they can be springboards, but they actually aren't the springboard, the trampoline isn't the soaring, the transcending that is, is called for. I think in the last month, too, I had somebody come to me and and say to me, what is the difference between a believer and an unbeliever? And again, everyone who comes to this world, this whole world is based on belief, so everyone who seems to come and to perceive themselves in time and space is, is equally a believer. But the way the Christians have used it is, you know, they've taken the the passage out of the Bible, you know, those that believe, believe in me shall not perish, and to believe upon the Son of God you shall not perish and have eternal life. It's, it's, if it's taken to be faith, the, the fruition of faith is, is more than believing in, in a man, or in a doctrine, or in a theology, or in a history, or anything but coming into an experience of atonement that I am Christ, I am one with God, coming into that experience. That is the release point. It's not the release point, you know, that is coming into that through forgiveness, but it's not a theology as we would say is a theology of a religion of the world. In one sense you could say there's not one theology that's better than another. It's the whole point is to spring into an experience that transcends all the theologies. Because there is no universal theology, there's only a universal experience. Religions are the same and they're here to help people and and yet the ultimate aim of religion is does go beyond helping people. You know, you have to, that's just a step along the way too. The Bible said, God is no respecter of persons. It's, you have to go into that ultimate transcendent state. That's what this is all about. It's, it's about an experience, it's about a state of mind, but everything seems to fall that you go along with every step that you've ever taken all seems to have to fade away.